They are the largest and most popular Hispanic publication in Southeast Michigan. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the president and publisher for the Latino Press, Elias Gutierrez. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, it is a awesome looking uh, newspaper. Mm -hmm. It is a weekly, weekly I understand, uh, Latino paper uh, published all in Spanish for the Hispanic community and you've been the publisher for 24 years. 24 years, right. What made you 24 years ago decide to, to start doing this? Give for the our community information and other media and English they never receive. So we bring professional information so they have a more easy life in this uh, country. What types of information uh, is, is in the paper? What do you try to focus on? What's important to the Hispanic community? Hispanic community have interest in uh, how connecting with other society or the minority and um, how take any permission, for example, with the city of Detroit or, or the cities. So they found information there, how do that in Spanish. Um, one side, the other side is they receive information uh, about the country, uh, Hispanic communities from Latin America, so they not only Mexican, but Guatemala, Honduras, Salvador, Argentina, so we put information about this country. Do you cover specific uh, events or specific sure. uh, communities yeah. Yeah. or um, all of Southeast Michigan? We cover uh, Metro Detroit area in Grand Rapids. So we include information about events or other type, not only uh, fundraiser for uh, any any um, uh, communities and and we uh, bring uh, information exactly what a day people need and what it what need go so you also um, in addition to the paper that comes mm -hmm. out weekly uh, publish uh, the Metro Detroit Hispanic yep. directory this comes out once a year, uh, a year, is it a little bit like uh, the yellow pages the or the white pages exactly. for a resource? Exactly, but in Spanish too. Uh, people found schools, uh, principal phone numbers, school phone numbers. Uh, they found lawyers, doctors, uh, hospital. They, we provide this information for uh, 20,000 copy one time a year. Some people might wonder, you know, how can a, a small newspaper that appeals to a small minority population mm -hmm. uh, really be successful? But when we're talking about what we think of as a small minority population, we, I think you said 17% of our country S is Hispanic? It's 17% to this country, it's as Hispanic people now. And projection for the census in 50 more years, we go to. Uh, we are 50 million right now, so we go to 120 million in, in wow. 50 years. So that's going to be closer to you know 35, 40 percent of, exactly. of our country exactly. in in need of uh, yeah, this type exactly. of information. You've been doing this uh, again. We mentioned for 24 years. How have you seen what you do change over the years? Well, technology change. So we print. So normally before to say now, but. Additional the time, the years coming, the technology, the social media, and other things go inside uh, the our project. So it's not only print. We have a uh, our website, we media, and now we're exploring all the all the type the uh, the um, interaction with the next future. And I would imagine has the demographics in this country uh, shifted or changed sure. that maybe uh, changes what you're covering or what, what you're sure, discussing? Sure, the other things. Uh, uh, immigrant coming now, coming 100 years ago, and coming next 100 years. And Hispanic is Latin America coming anyway for this country in the next uh, 100 years. So right. we, we're working in this future. All right, awesome. A wonderful uh, thing that you are doing for the Latino community, a great resource. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. For more information on the Latino press, please visit, visit latinodetroit.com. Today's Comcast newsmaker was Elias Gutierrez, the president and publisher for the Latino press.